Okay, so it's about 7.30 and uh, I'm walking out to, to get my day going and uh, you know, I just kind of, every day you just kind of do the same thing. We all have done it. You know, it's like what we do in the morning, we get going and I'm looking at the house across the street and something just didn't look right. You know, it just looked out of place. And, and as I looked closer, um, you know, I'm, instead of looking at the, you know, the front of their house, I'm actually looking at uh, Stephen Vaughn's uh, master bedroom and closet, clothes hanging down, you know, and then you look down and, and you see a puddle uh, and a, like a lake type of thing and it's like okay you know it dawns on you this is this is not good uh, this is a you know this is a sinkhole and then our neighbor um, the young girl uh, I looked to my left and she's in the street and, and and I said did this just happen and she said just happened and uh, she said she was on the phone with uh, 911 uh, at that moment they've been called and and uh, and it was on from there and it just moved quickly you know but we didn't know at the time that Stephen Vaughn were, were not there uh, but we kind of verified that they weren't there. I immediately called uh, Steve on his cell phone and said, asked him, you know, or told him that uh, th there was a, a sinkhole underneath his house and he needed to get home immediately right now. Uh, it's creaking, it's splashing, um, you know, wood breaking, ripping, you know, you just sounds that, you know, just are not normal in our daily lives that you're used to hearing unless you're in the construction business and you hear this all day long. Um, it, it's just one of those uh, events that, you know, we all see them on TV and, you know, it's like, oh, wow, you really feel bad for those people that are there. And then, you know, it's like happening right in front of your eyes and you really feel bad for the, the people that are right there as well. But most importantly, you know, we want to think of the, 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 the two families that their houses are just destroyed and gone. You know, we're, we're next on the looks like the holes list if it's going to move. Um, at this point, it's been stable for a little bit. Let's just keep our fingers crossed. but. Um, you know, our hearts go out to, uh, to both those families. You know? And so if, if, if she, let's just picture someone running late for work and you're getting ready and you're getting ready in your master bedroom and bathroom. And that was the first point that went, you know, and, or let's just think it's a Saturday instead of a Friday. You know, if it's Saturday morning and it's 7.30, 7.15, guess what? They're probably not at work. They may be sleeping in. You never know, who, you know, what people do. Um, that this could have been a, a much worse uh, scenario. Had it not been for the young girl that came out and uh, you know heard it, we all hear things in the backgrounds, and we're never really like thinking, oh, you know, that's creaking and creaking, and that sounds like a sinkhole across the street. Uh, but she had the wherewithal to go out and identify it, which was huge, and get 911, you know, immediately called. So that was good. Well, living in Florida, sinkholes happen, so it's one of those things that you say, okay, you know, the odds of getting struck by lightning are pretty slim. Uh, the odds of a sinkhole popping up in your front yard is going to happen to somebody, but. You know, it's like winning the lottery. It, um, so being a Florida boy, we know that things happen. You live close to a lake, you know, you're kind of thinking that's your sinkhole, you know, so it shouldn't happen around, but, you know, things do.